I remember. You remember what? My life. You, Shane. I remember everything. We have our life back. I love you so much. I love you too. Merry Christmas, Balsam. Gigi! No, no. No, it can't be. It can't just have been. Gigi's still gone. It was just a dream. Oh, a little light reading before you get dressed? <laughs> Ah, uh, Dad, give him a break. This is his big day. His mom's finally getting justice. Yeah, I'm all for that. I'm just wondering where this new evidence came from. Natalie, you must have heard something about that. No one from the station even told me what it is, much less where it came from. From me. The new evidence came from me. New York City is just a train ride away. We could take Neil and watch the ball drop right over Times Square. Yeah, we lose our wallets, our dignity, and possibly our lives in a miasma of ticker tape and tourists. I. So cute. Well, <laughs> I'll think about it. Neela, are you alright? You've been dying to try Wavo's Rancheros and then you barely touched it. What's wrong, Neela? Mm, nothing. I'm just not used to these American winters. Come on, Neela, don't try to fool me. Rama and I have had nearly 15 minutes of uninterrupted conversation. Something's obviously wrong. Is this about what I think it's about? Jack. Mom. Samira, I'm so sorry that you had to spend the night here alone last night. I, I, I wanted to get in here earlier, but this is the first time that they would let me in. Mom, I'm scared. What's going to happen to me? John McBain. Hey, man, what can I do for you? Well, you can spring my kid for starters. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. Anything else? Tay's going to get him out sooner or later. Why bother waiting? Hey, you know, I don't know if you knew this, but um, Gigi Morasco is a friend of mine. And Jack was responsible for her death. And right now, I think we're finally going to get justice. Some other kid already confessed. And we all both know that was bogus. And now we have the proof. It's kind of the same old story, isn't it, Manny? You pay someone innocent to take the blame while the guilty walk free. I thought I got Gigi back. Just another dream. It was no dream, Balsam. I'm back. I'm never gonna leave you again. down talking to John. We're going to figure all this out. Okay? Did you get any sleep last night? How could I? I'm in jail. How did this even happen? Well, John says that they found some new evidence. That doesn't make any sense. The case was closed. Brad confessed. That's it. Brad. Now that Dad's gone, Brad's father must have finally told McPain the truth. That Dad paid him off so that Brad would take the rap for me. What? It's just the first time I've heard you say it out loud. You're finally admitting that you caused Gigi's death. 
I can't believe this is really happening. I know. It all still feels kind of weird. Like a dream. But you're definitely real. I'm never letting you go again. Well, it's gonna be kind of hard to get through airport security with your arms wrapped around me. They don't even let you wear your shoes. Yes, well, we could have been shoeless and seated hours ago if the snowstorm hadn't messed up our flight. Oh, it's just our luck, huh? Say that again. I'm serious, Balsam. I can't wait to get back to Landview and see Shane and just hold him in my arms again. It's been so long. I'm sure Shane would feel the same way. Yeah, I wonder what he had to tell me. He said last night that he had some big news. Uh, I don't see how it's possibly going to top ours. <laughs> so after Neil gave me the tape of Jack confessing, I handed it over to John McBain. Hmm. And John already had him arrested. Made short work out of that. Yeah, he did. Shane, I'm proud of you. You really stepped up to the plate for your mother. Rex is going to be proud of you, too, once he gets home. Thanks. I should probably call him, see if he's coming home soon. Uh, before you do that, Shane, there's, uh, there's something I'd like to say. What are you talking about? I didn't pay off this brat, kid. Right, that was your brother, Victor, back when he was passing himself off as you. Before Delgado killed him. Okay, I understand that you and Victor were never pals, but that doesn't give you the right to railroad check. Come on in. Delgado, thank God you're here. Will you please help my son? What's the deal, Detective? You sure you're up for this? I mean, you just got out of the hospital. <laughs> like that's going to stop her. The doctor says that it's fine for me to go back to work, so let's get to it. What's the new evidence? Jack confessed on tape. Shane, I realize that you and I are still getting to know each other, but I have to say, the way you handled things with Jack, that was very Buchanan of you. Thanks. <laughs> I know you've been looking for justice for your mom. I hope this brings you a little peace of mind. I hope so, too. You know, Gigi may no longer be with us, but my, oh my, she had a good heart, and nobody knows that better than I do, except maybe for you. But son, she's resting easier now, knowing that you will finally be able to put this behind you. And now she wants you to start resting easier too. You really think so? No, I don't think so. I can feel it. Thanks, Grandpa. looking at? Snow. It's so beautiful. You know, in all the years that I lived here in Texas, it never really snowed, except that one time. Yeah, what time was that? Uh, Christmas 2007, when we ran into each other for the first time since high school. Right. I remember. You were even more beautiful than I remembered. Shane was there, I didn't even know he was my son yet. Are you sure we're doing the right thing? Waiting to tell him in person? You having second thoughts? I'm not sure. Well, it's Shane. You guys better figure this out pretty quick. A confession on tape. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, I hope you had a warrant for that wiretap, because hacking into a minor's cell phone is no small matter to a judge. It wasn't a wiretap. It was a live recording. You know, Shane, the kid I picked on, his mother died because of me. So you had an undercover cop wearing a wire. I don't think I have to remind you what constitutes entrapment, do I? 
It wasn't a police operation. It was brought in by a civilian. So this is why you're so upset, this boy? Neela, I understand that you had a little crush on him, but he's a murderer. Arrested on Christmas? God, his poor family. That family is responsible. They should have realized they were raising a scoundrel. He's not a scoundrel. How can you even say that after he saved you both from the fire? If it weren't for Jack, the two of you would have burnt out Chris. I haven't forgotten that, but doesn't change or excuse what he did. Uh, Neela, I'm telling you, it's a good thing this boy's behind bars, because if he wasn't, I would forbid you from ever seeing him again. I knew that Victor was covering for you, I knew that you were responsible for Gigi's death, and I knew that Victor had done something so despicable that it got Brad to confess. But you didn't say anything. Because I was waiting to hear it from you, Jack. And as angry as I was at Victor, I was... Deep down, I was, um... I was grateful. Grateful? Yes. Because it kept you out of jail. This is the last place I ever wanted to see you. Mom, it's okay. No, it's not okay! Because of you, a woman is dead, Jack! Hey, buddy. How's it going? How's the rest of your Christmas? It was okay. I still wish you could have been here. Grandma Echo couldn't make it back from her shoot in Vendora, but it was still fun spending it with Vicky. I'm sorry I couldn't be there with you. It's okay. It totally worked out. Vicky felt so sorry for me because I was spending Christmas alone that she kind of went overboard on the presents. Yeah, score, what'd you get? A new drum kit. And she talked to the cartoon editor at the banner. He's gonna let me shadow him for a few days. That's, that sounds amazing. Uh, but listen, not for nothing, I, I think that my gift is going to top all that. What, are you getting me my present at the airport? Are you kidding? Yeah. You know I don't care what you get me. I'll just be glad when you get here. Besides, my news is going to blow your present out of the water. We'll see about that. So, when are you coming back? Uh, don't worry, we'll be on the next flight out. We? Who's we? We. We? Did I say we? No, I meant me. You meant me going to be on the next flight out? I, what can I say, Shane? Uh, it's been a long trip. I guess it's been a while since I've flown solo. Anyway, uh, is Vicky okay with you staying there until I get back? Actually, she went out. I'm manning the fort with Aunt Natalie and Grandpa Clint. Well, tell them I said Merry Christmas, and I will see you soon. Okay, I love you, buddy. Love you too, Dad. He sounds so grown up. His voice has changed even more, hasn't it? Oh my God, he's becoming a man. No, not yet. Yeah. But when he does, you will be there to see it. Hey, um, he called Clint Grandpa. What's up with that? Lois is making eggs if you want in. I hope it's none of that egg white crap your mother's pushing on me. Nope. Poached with the yolk running out just the way you like it. Speaking of mom. Yes. You two were totally making out last night. Were we? Mm-hmm. Like teenagers, so. Does this mean what I think it means? Are you two getting back together? Get Lois to sneak some bacon into those eggs. Dad, answer the question. All right, your mother and I, we admitted how we feel about each other. Finally! But we're taking it slowly, one day at a time, because we want to do it right. Is there a reason that you wouldn't? Uh, yeah, any number of reasons. Most notably, it's rather awkward that Shane is my grandson and Jack's her nephew. Well, just so you know, I'm rooting for you. What makes you think your mother and I would work as a couple? We've already divorced each other twice. And you, my dear, didn't know us back when we were together. The first time I saw you two in the same room, I could see how much you love each other. So face it, Dad. Some people are just meant to be together. Last time I checked, you and Clint wanted nothing to do with each other. And now he's watching our son. So what happened? Well, it all started after we found a donor heart for Clint. Oh, yeah. 
what you said yesterday about giving Stacy's heart away. Yeah, listen, Jeej. Rex, when I... When I woke up in the hospital and I couldn't remember anything, I went online and I saw my obituary. And it said that Clint got his heart from me, but... It was really from Stacy, huh? You serious? You're actually telling me a civilian brought that How in? do we even know it's legitimate? How do we know that that's Jack? Well, you can certainly hope, man. I trust that the LPD is running a full analysis of that tape? Absolutely. We should have the results very soon. Mm -hmm. And given the LPD's history of pointing fingers at anyone named Manning, I want a private firm to analyze that tape as well. Fine. Knock yourself out. Are we done here? No. Jack has the right to know his accuser. I want a name. You're not my father. You have no right to forbid me to see anyone. I most certainly do. While you're living in this country under my roof, I'm responsible for you, which means you have to do what I say. So much for seeing how relationships work for myself. Well, when you find a boy who hasn't killed anybody, then you can relate to him as much as you like. Perhaps you would be better off marrying Rajiv. You wouldn't. Okay, listen. No one is making anyone marry anybody, all right? Why don't you go see if something's interesting to read on the newsstand? Are you trying to get rid of me? Let me handle this, okay? I won't be long. I won't be gone long. So tell me, what's wrong? What do you think, Rama? The boy that I thought was my friend is in jail. Yeah, I know, but that's not it, right? There's obviously something else bothering you. Jack is in jail because of me. You don't think I know what I've done? I really, really wish I did know that. Because for months I've been searching for any sign of remorse from you about what you did to Gigi, everything that you did to Shane. Okay, fine. I'm sorry. Not to Are mention you everything now? that you put your father he through. He is not my he father. He is your father. He is. Look, I might have invited him over for Christmas dinner just because I felt sorry for the guy, but that does not make him my father. You don't make him anything, okay? He just is what he is, and I do believe that I would know that he's your father. Great. That makes one whole thing you know about me. What's that supposed to mean, It's son? supposed to mean that the only time you show any interest in me is when I'm in trouble. Well, that is not true, Jack Manning. Maybe you just don't get me. You never laugh at my jokes. Only dad, Victor, he was the only one who would. He was the one who taught me to deal with that kid who stole my lunch money in middle school. Oh, well, apparently he inspired you to uh, steal it from the other kids. Don't talk about him like that. You're making it seem like he's the bad guy. He was my father. He was the only one in the entire world who cared about me. Where were you? I was there, Jack. I was there every single day. Except for Star's latest drama, or when Sam got kidnapped again, or when you decided to date another homicidal maniac. Don't you dare talk to me like that, because I have been there for you. I have always been there for you. God, how was I to know that something was even wrong, Jack? You never said a thing I to me about it. I should have to. You should have asked. Just face it, Mom. I was always one kid too many for you. That's so not fair, Jack. Because I have loved all of my children equally. Yeah, right. Do you have any idea how lucky, how lucky you are? You have this huge family that loves you so much. So much! You know, I never had that growing up. I went from foster, foster home, home to foster home. I remember. Or maybe you don't remember it like I remember it. Because I'm telling you right now, it was no piece of cake. Even the good homes had too many kids, so I know what it's like to be lost in the shuffle. And I'm telling you right now, that never happened to you. Not one single day of your little life. And for you to sit there and you to tell that to me, that's a cop out. Because then I've been there for you. I've had your back. I've been beside you all the time. Because I love you, son. I love you.
you and I'm always gonna love you and nothing is gonna change that, do you hear me? Alright. I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk to Taya. And just hopefully, hopefully John, all that evidence, it just won't be as bad as we think it is. Guard! Mom. What? What happened to Shane's mom? It, it really was an accident. I didn't mean for her to get hurt. That's, that's, that's good to know. I thought that you were dead. I thought that I found you lying in a basement next to a broken generator that was leaking carbon monoxide. And it was our wedding day. But instead of hearing you say, I do, I heard some doctor telling me they did everything they could. And after that, I was in a pretty dark place. I'm so sorry. Look, no, it's not your fault. I know that Jack Manning was responsible for your death. But he walked because Victor Lord Jr. paid somebody to take the rap for him. Who's Victor Lord Jr.? All right. Um, short answer, the psycho formerly known as Todd Manning. It's a long story. I will tell you all about it on the plane. The point is that Jack had his freedom because his dad paid somebody off. And I thought that the only way to get justice for you and the only way to keep Shane safe was to have the same kind of power and money that Jack's family had. And I thought the only way to get that was to get Clint's money. And I was ready to do some pretty terrible stuff, but something stopped me. What? You. Everywhere I turned, I kept seeing you. You saw me? Yeah. As clear as you are sitting next to me right now. Even now, I have no idea what it was. The point is, I wanted to do the right thing because of you. What you would have wanted me to do. So even in a coma, I was still bossing you around? I don't care. You're back now. I hope you keep bossing me around for the rest of my life. Okay. Well, then here's what's going to happen. First, you're going to kiss me. And then we're going to head home to our son. Yes, ma'am. Dad's on his way home. I can't wait to see the look on his face when I tell him the news. He's going to be really proud of you. Your mom, too. I just wish she was still here. That I can make her proud by doing something else. <laughs> Did I ever tell you how your mom and I became such good friends? I don't think so. It's when I found out I was pregnant. And I was, I was really scared. Freaking out, actually. I didn't know who Liam's father was. And I didn't know what to do. And I didn't know how it was going to affect the lives of everyone I loved. And then your mom accidentally found out what I was going through, and she set me straight. How? She told me it was okay to be scared. It was okay not to know what to do. But what wasn't okay was to sit back and do nothing. That I had to make decisions. Sounds just like my mom. Mm -hmm. And the most important thing that she said to me is no matter what decisions I make, she would have my back. I think that your mom would see a lot of herself in you. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Trust me. I'm a mother, too. You know, Manny, this is a criminal investigation. Often what you want and what you get are two very different things. You of all people should. What's going on here? They'll tell you. I'm gonna go see her son. Was that about the new evidence you have on Jack? How bad is it? Bad. What are you doing here? Just spoke with John McBain. Do you know what they have on you? I fell head over heels for Jack. He helped me when I had no one else to turn to. I 
I believed he was such a good person. You don't believe that anymore? I don't know. I mean, after I met Shane, from he was so sad because of what happened to his mother. Shane begged me to help him, and I agreed. I told Jack he could trust me, and I betrayed him. There's a tape, Jack, of you confessing. What? That's impossible. I heard it myself. So I recorded his confession, and I turned it into the police. You did the right thing, okay? You should be proud, Neela. Think of all the good you were able to do for Shane. What about Jack? You're helping him take responsibility for his own actions. He should be held accountable for what he did. I still feel so wrong. I mean, what Jack did to Shane's mother was an accident. But how I hurt Jack, it was deliberate. I set him up. Someone set you up. Someone was trying to get you to talk. They were waiting with a tape recorder, and they got you to open up your mouth. No, there's no way. No one even knows what I've done. I heard the recording. Someone got you to open up your trap. How's Jack going to feel when he finds out that I was the one who got him arrested? He'll never speak to me again. Give me a name, Jack. Tell me who set you up, and I'll deal with the son of a bitch. Is everything all right? I'm fine. Mila, I, I owe you an apology. I, I may have overreacted before. When you told me you'd force me to marry someone I don't love. You please understand that I'm only trying to protect you. Mila, I don't need you to protect me. No, but I need to protect you because I love you. I. Do you have any idea what you mean to me? It's true, you know. When we first got married, you were all he could talk about. My beautiful sister, how tall she's getting. My beautiful yeah. sister, she's doing so well at school. I got sick about hearing about you. I just, I just hope one day you'll understand why I'm so strict with you. And and maybe if these charges against Jack prove to be false, then we can have a discussion about it. But I do think it's admirable that you're being such a loyal friend. I have to go. I have to get to the library to start an assignment for winter break. She hates me. No, that's not true. She just has other things on her mind. I didn't mean for her to die, but she did because of me. Not a lawyer, but there's not a lot of gray area there. I'm not gonna lie to you, Blair. If that tape checks out, Jack's in big trouble. But it was an accident. It was an accident. You heard him. He said he didn't mean for it to happen. They probably will not charge him as an adult. Okay? You gotta do something, Taya, because I've done everything. I don't know what else to do. I'm here. gonna do everything I can. All right? I'm gonna treat Jack as if he were my own. Our family. You wanna know that by now? Jack's probably right. It was my fault. What are you talking about? He's he says that I never showed him enough tension. That's bull. And you know okay, it. Okay, you know what? It doesn't make it any better or any easier what my son is going through. I didn't tell anyone anything. Jack, I heard the recording myself. Then it must be fake. Look, you don't, you don't like me. And that's not important to me right now. You need me. But I can't help you, Jack, unless you tell me the truth. I am telling the truth, I swear! Why don't you, why don't you calm down and think about it, okay? I'm gonna go upstairs, and your mom and I, we're gonna get you out of here, okay? Guard! Thanks. For helping me. It really means a lot. Jack Manning, you are my son, and I will do anything for you. And let's face it, you're useless to me, man. You're my slave labor at the sun. You gotta get out, you gotta get me coffee, you gotta get me a chicken salad sandwich. Honey, your mom was proud of you every single day of your life. But I have to say, I think she would be especially proud of you today. Thanks, Aunt Natalie. 
Brian, I've got to go check on your grandpa make sure he didn't eat the bacon. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. Me too, sorry it took so long. It's okay, you're here now. You ready for the big news? Yeah, you bet, but I've got some pretty big news for you too. I totally want to hear your news, but I have to go first. What I have to say is huge. Well, my news is kind of- It's about mom. Actually, my news is about mom too. Well, whatever it is, it can't be as big as this. It's about how Jack killed her. Shane, Jack didn't kill your mom. No, you don't understand. There's proof now, he confessed. No, 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 no. That, that's, that's not what I meant. Jack didn't kill your mom because your mom's not dead. What? Shane, your mom is alive. Dad, what are you talking about? Finally happened. Today is the official day I turn into my father. <laughs> Come on, Vimal. You have a long way to go before you become that strict. Yeah, I suppose. But the way I shot Neela down just felt disturbingly familiar. Yeah, you went that bad. Still, I should have listened to what she had to say about the whole situation. But instead, I was just so worried about protecting her. And, to be honest, about the awkward position her crush puts me in. I mean, the boy is my boss's son, and he's a killer. It's your job to protect her, okay? It's your job as a brother to keep Neela safe, at least until she's old enough to make her own decisions. Yeah, but Neela already thinks she's old enough. Perhaps she is. And if I don't like her decisions? Well, I can't speak from experience, but all I can say is what my mother used to say. Letting your children spread their wings is the hardest part of the job. And parenting is already the hardest job in the world. That's Jack. He's hanging in there. I told him it's all gonna be okay. I promised him that I'd make it right. I promise you too, I'm gonna make this right. I'm not gonna lose our little boy. I don't blame you for not giving Todd the name of the person who made that recording. I didn't think you would. But I do have a problem with you keeping it from me. You'll get it. Eventually. Oh, come on, detective. It's all going to come out in pre-trial discovery anyway. Why waste everyone's time? Her name is Neela Patel. The only person you talked to about Shane's mom was Neela. But... No. She would never do this to me. She couldn't. Mom? Yeah. yeah, baby, it's me. No. This isn't real. It can't be. No. This is real. No. Mom's dead. Grandpa Flynn has her heart. This is Aunt Stacy. No, Shane. Your Aunt Stacy is the one who died. This is your mom, I promise.
reconciled.